Hey people, it's Tuesday, February the 2nd. It is Groundhog Day. And I was just at the corner of McCall Street and College Street, and I'll be walking south along the full length of McCall Street. And then I'll continue walking down Duncan Street. The streets don't line up exactly, but it's almost like one continuous street with just a slight jog at Queen Street where it changes names. It's around minus three degrees Celsius. Wind chill around minus 10. Now, McCall Street is just right on the western end of downtown. As you can see, it's a mostly residential street. But up ahead, it passes by uh, OCAD University, which is probably one of the weirdest buildings in the city. So we'll definitely take a look at that. As you can see, we're just right on the very edge of the sort of high-rise part of downtown like tall buildings on one side and and old row houses on the other There are a few development proposals along the street. It will be densifying further in the future. Look at this lonely house, it's like the only one on this whole side of the street pretty much. Sort of like in that Pixar movie Up, the, <laughs> the old man's house was surrounded by big buildings. We're just passing by Baldwin Street. It's Baldwin Village again. I just did a video where I walked through this area. So this is looking at it from the other side. <laughs> In my video from before, I was looking at it from down the street towards up this way.
Bridge crossing Elm Street. This is where I did my video that I posted yesterday, walking along Elm Street. And here's, I think, the only Krispy Kreme right sort of in the heart of downtown, or near the heart of downtown. So you're walking straight towards the CN Tower. St. Patrick's Church and St. Patrick's Church Hall. Let's see when this was built. Okay, it doesn't say when it was built. It's about this sculpture. Massive looking. There's the Art Gallery of Ontario, and the Village Idiot. Just looking down Dundas Street, looking east. And that bizarre looking thing is OCAD University. We'll get a close close up look at it here. And this is the village by the Grange, which is an old kind of relic mall from like another era but it has a really surprisingly good food court or it did hopefully it will again and things reopen So I think this opened in the early 2000s, I think, around like 15 years ago or so. 
And I think the architect is Will Aslop. Something, something like that. And it's literally a building perched up on giant stilts. Hovering over the old original OCAD building. OCAD stands for the Ontario College of Art and Design. Sort of like it's metal. Well, it almost sounds hollow. I know it can't be completely hollow, but. <laughs> So I think this one, along with the the weird cube house that I showed in one of my recent videos, are probably a contender of the weirdest building in the city. They're probably number one and two. I'll probably give number one to this one. The cube house can take number two. Just for the record, I do like it. I like this building. Some people don't. Yeah, streetcar loop.
Yeah, we're just coming up to Queen Street. This is where McCall Street ends, but Duncan Street just starts right here. Back up McCall Street. It's looking west along Queen Street West. East. You know, I wanted to walk down Duncan Street because I think it's one of the most underrated downtown streets for historic warehouse buildings. A number of these buildings have been renovated and are now used as office space. And some of them are being incorporated into new condo developments where they retain the walls of the warehouse building and build a new tower behind. Crossing Richmond Street. I'm just wondering if I'll get a better look from the other side. Hopefully that's just being refurbished, renovated. This one has some great old fire escapes. This one is a hydro substation, 1910. It's looking into the financial district.
another huge tower proposed for this old crocodile rock bar. And here is an old warehouse building that is getting the facade treatment. They demolished the building except for the walls here on the western and northern, or sorry, yeah, the western and northern side, right? And supported them with these steel structures to keep them from falling over. And there's a new, I think, 58 story condo building being built that will incorporate this old warehouse into its base. I think a similar fate awaits this building. There you can see how the wall of the old warehouse is literally just standing up with nothing else <laughs> around it. Here we are at King Street. So this is where I'll end this video. I hope you like this little walk down McCall and then Duncan Street. Checking out some old, old historic warehouse buildings. So if you enjoyed this walk, Please subscribe, like, share, comment, tell your friends and your family and even your worst enemies. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos I've been posting daily lately. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description where you can do so via PayPal. I'm also on Instagram under KContinuum. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue.